Hello everyone, Quentin here with Eagle 3D Streaming. We have a great video for you today. In this video, we are going to show you how to run multiplayer over the internet. Let's jump right into it. I double click on the dedicated server shortcut and we now see that we have our black screen running, which gives us the log and confirms to us that the multiplayer server is running. We've made a lot of good progress and we have all of our networking and port information set up. We now have our dedicated server running. The next step is to connect to this dedicated server over the internet. In order to demonstrate this, let's now connect two PCs running our Unreal Engine application to this dedicated server. If we take a brief glance at our setup, we first have the dedicated server which is this PC right here, which we have set up and we have our dedicated server running. Now let's set up two PCs running the Unreal Engine application that will connect to that dedicated server over the internet. And when they do, you'll, the players will be able to see each other in the application. In order to demonstrate this, I've set up two additional uh, virtual machines that I'll be running the Unreal Engine application on. Now, these, these machines can be any machines that you want. This could be your gaming PC at home, and this could be your friend's machine. These could be machines running in the cloud. It doesn't matter. Um, I, you know, I set these up through remote desktop just because it's easier for me to move between these three screens for you guys. But um, just so it doesn't get confusing, these PCs can literally be any PCs in the world that have an internet connection and a graphics card you can now connect to your dedicated server. Okay, so let's now go to the two PCs that we would like to run our Unreal Engine application on, and let's also download the same package onto those PCs. Uh, and obviously edit out this pause. I'm going to go to Internet Explorer and just simply download both PCs. And we'll pause right here once I've finished downloading, downloading and extracting my application onto these PCs. Now that I have downloaded and extracted my files onto the PCs, let's take a quick look inside what those files are. The first file is the dedicated server, which of course I will not be running because these are the PCs that, I'll, that I will be running the game on. The second file is of course all of the build files for the application that I would like to run. The first thing let's do is double click on the Unreal Engine application so that it begins. And I'm also going to do the same thing on my second PC. And if, if you're not fully familiar with remote desktop, I have remoted into these two PCs from the PC that I'm working with here at home so that I can demonstrate this in real time side by side. I now have two instances of the game connected. And if you've watched our first video on how to connect locally, the command to connect multiplayer is open and then the IP address. Now, when we connected locally, we use the 127001 because that is the de facto standard for IP address for connecting locally. This is going to be different. Instead of using the IP address of our local host, we now, of course, are going to use the IP address of our dedicated server. If we go back quickly to our architecture, I now have these two PCs running, which are these two PCs right here. Now, what I need to do is connect these to our multiplayer server, which I have right here. And in order for me to do that, I must connect to the static IP address associated with that dedicated server. And if you recall, in order for us to do that, we should go into the AWS instance that is running my dedicated server. And I can see it running right here. And I need to get my public IP address. 
there's a few ways you can do this. The first way is you can simply just look up here and it will have it listed. Public IP address 3128-98118. You can also open a browser tab and type in what is my IP and it will also provide you your public IP address. We need the public IP address and not the private IP address. We do not want the private IP address. We want the public IP address. Okay, once I have my public IP address determined, let's open up one of these instances. And if you remember the command, I'll first press tilde, and then I will type open, oops, if I can spell, open, and then I will now type in the public IP address of my dedicated server, which is 3.128. Dot nine eight dot one one eight and I'll press enter. Okay. Now I will go to my second instance running and I will do the same thing. I'm going to move this window over here so that I can again see my IP address. I'm going to press tilde and then three dot excuse me, I'll type in open 3.128.98.118 and press enter. Now let's take a look and see what's going on. Well, I have both instances of my game running, but I do not see each other. So something is the matter. And this is why I also like to do this locally first because you may have also noticed that our dedicated server is not registering any of the connections. And the only way you would know this is if you have done it locally so you'll be able to tell when things are working and when things are not working. And that's why it's so important to do the step by step. So I know something is the issue. Uh, the reason that we're not able to connect lies in the dedicated server. So if you run into this issue where you're trying to connect your, your PCs to your dedicated server and you're not seeing the connection being made, this is probably the reason why. In order to resolve this, let's click the Windows button and type in Firewall. Once the options come up, click on the Firewall and Network Protection. And in order for this to work, because of how multiplayer is set up, I have to disable my firewall. This is the fastest way in order for this to work. Now, obviously, um, I think we all know, you know the consequences of disabling a firewall and the security risks it brings. Uh, I'm simply doing this to show you the fastest way to get multiplayer working, and then you can configure uh, your network settings how you wish. So now that I have fully disabled my firewall, and again, please note the risks in doing this, let's now try to connect to the multiplayer server again. Let's go to my first instance and let's bring up that IP address. And now let's try it. Oops. Okay, so I'm now in my instance and I'll type open 3.128.98.118 and press enter. Now we see a little something different has happened. The client has successfully joined the, joined the game, which is awesome. So good sign, things are looking good. Let's now try it on this one as well. Oof, I need to get better at remembering these IP addresses. I type tilde and then type open 3.128.98.118 and press enter. Now let's go ahead and go full screen on one of these and look at what we have. We now successfully have both players in the game connected via multiplayer over the internet. And, you know, just to confirm that that's not some, you know, rogue 
AI character. Let's open up the other instance over here. Uh, and you can see me running around. And again, these servers are totally separate servers right here. Um, also separated from the multiplayer server. So we definitely now have this configuration, which is two users connected. Uh, once you get to this point, you can begin getting creative. You could then have, you know, three or four of your friends all connect at the same time, um, as long as your Amazon instance is running. So this should get you to the point where you have, you know, a lot of creative control in terms of how you want to set this up. Uh, but for those who are curious and want to learn more, we're going to take it one step further. And that step is we are now, I'm now going to show you how to add pixel streaming to this so that now you're pixel streaming with multiplayer over the internet. That will be the next video. And that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching till the end. I will see you all in another future video. Until then, take care. Upload your first Unreal Engine project on our Pixel streaming platform for free. To create an account, go to account.eagle3dstreaming.com/sign up and get a free 7 days trial. Eagle 3D Streaming, it's just easier.